it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is our favorite video, and that's a Dollar Tree haul. Dun, da, da, da. This Dollar Tree haul is long overdue. Last week, I went on vacation, and I shared my vacation vlog with you guys. If you did not see it, I'll link it above for you. Go check it out. It has my kids, my husband, myself. We finally were able to afford to go on vacation, so we went to the beach, and it was super amazing. But this haul is definitely going to make up for it, because I have new stuff new makeup stuff new back to school stuff stuff that I'm really excited about it's a big one so you guys know what to do get yourself a drink I'm going to have my box wine a glass of wine in my cup my new radon mug so we are going to have a drink because my kids are with my mom so that is much appreciated so while I'm pouring my wine you go ahead and get yourself a drink get yourself a snack let me know in the comment section down below what are you drinking if you're drinking anything okay we're not going to fill her up too much but you guys know if you know me or you know this channel or if you watch my lives your girl loves her box wine and it matches my shirt this is pink Moscato so I love it and I always think that wine out of a bag tastes so much better so cheers you guys you got this before we get started on the haul let me give three Dollar Tree YouTube channels a shout out those channels will be pinned to the top of the comments go check them out once you're done watching this video tell them that I sent you subscribe to their channel give them a like show them love let's get more eyes on people that deserve it that I find inspiring that I like to watch because there's tons of other people out here that are making content sometimes the bigger ones just can get noticed a little bit more so check out those channels as I always do I always like to start with the thing that I was most excited about and I was most excited about dun, da, da, da. these brand new jade rollers and y'all this was my first time ever seeing a jade roller at Dollar Tree to me this looks like something that ha you find it the 99 cent only which we don't have here on the East Coast um, or maybe like King Dollar I see people in Dallas share really cool finds like this but finally the Dollar Tree got jade rollers and I personally have never tried them so I'm excited to give them a try and you guys know uh, well, if you, if you do or if you don't know, I act like you do know, but I have said it before. I don't like to spend money on things that I, I'm not really sure about. If I would have been able to try it for free, I would have tried it, or if it wasn't reasonable. I feel like trying something for a dollar is not bad. That's why I'm excited to give it a try. I heard that you can put these in... Well, the whole little piece is jade, it seems like. So it's a pretty small little roller, but I've heard that if you put these into the fridge or the freezer, it really can help reduce puffiness around your eyes, so you can add this into your skin skincare routine. So it says, start out with a clean face, then apply your serums, moisturizer, or mask, and then start rolling it. So I guess it helps to improve the blood circulation, elasticity and tone, reduce puffiness and wrinkles, and tighten and smooth, minimize skin's pores. So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm definitely going to be popping mine into the freezer or to the fridge so that it can have that cooling effect because it's super Super hot here so I'm really excited to give this a try who knows I don't I don't want to do something like this in a get it or forget it because I feel like you need to use it over time but I will be back super soon to let you guys know my thoughts on it but in my head I think it's gonna be perfect so it's from the brand it says pro tools by my beauty spot jade roller super cool I was really excited to find that let me know if you guys have found this as well recently I've been keeping my hauls into sections so that's what I'm gonna do um, if you guys want to have timestamps for each section of the video so back to school the home decor food any makeup stuff it'll all be timestamped in the description box below so I only have one other makeup item and it's this nail polish this is from nail medic it looks like it's a three-phase system and this is the third phase but it says that it is the high gloss plumping top coat and I don't know if this is something that doesn't work if you don't have all the other steps but I'm excited to see a high gloss plumping top coat at the Dollar Tree I wanted to give it a try I'm excited to give this a try for a dollar you can't go wrong moving right along I always 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 get my bobby pins at Dollar Tree they're 72 in there they work perfectly I go through them so quickly that when I go in I pick them up that was literally all of the beauty stuff that I got so let's do back to school and if you guys want to see my back to school best and worst videos like things that I think you should get highly recommend on products that I think you should maybe leave alone let me know in the comment section down below I don't know if that's something people would want to see I know I would kind of be interested in it because I do have a lot of back to school stuff but I don't know if other people want to see it so just let me know down below we're gonna move on now to the back to school stuff this year for back to school they have these new calendars which are dry erase calendars and they have a few different colors if you can tell it, each box is a certain month so it starts January February March April May and then it comes with 
these stickers and I'm not sure if these are reusable stickers I would hope so and then you can use the stickers on the calendar so I picked up one it's just black and white and then there was one that I think I got a bunch of the same ones no did I I don't know yeah I definitely did so I got two of the black and white and then two of like these kind of colors where each of the boxes are like purple and green and blue so it's like more of like the gradient but some of the stickers say work out vacation birthday date night repairs pizza party travel so this was I thought this would be really cool for smaller kids so little B's age to try to get them into the routine so I'm going to try to place one in his room to help him stay organized this school year and then he can add on the stickers himself I thought that that would be really really cool and then at the Dollar Tree I found these they're from BIC they're called the BIC intensity low odor dry erase markers in blue and red so I'm excited to give these a try because Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of dry erase markers that are in the stationary section they have more of like the pen like ones that are thinner the thicker ones they have a lot of options for dry erase so that would be perfect for this the only downside to those like the wall calendars is it's so big like it's literally huge so that's one thing that was kind of like ugh for me but I'm excited to give it a try and I'm going to use this and that for him so I found this folder at Dollar Tree and I really liked this front part you guys told me what it was called if they have antlers but I totally forget so I thought I could use this in a DIY project to make it into something new maybe for holiday time or fall time I thought that this was really cool on the plain background but I liked how this was white and then I picked up one of these twin pocket deluxe pouches for Bobby's back to school sometimes they have these back to school projects that they have to do like during the summertime they have projects so I wanted to get him this so that he could put all of his like packets and all that kind of stuff in here and take it back to school there were a few different student calendars that I saw at Dollar Tree and I really don't ever go for them but I wanted to pick up one that drew my eye to share with you guys so this is for the year 2020 it's a student calendar so I think that what makes it a student calendar is it starts from like back to school time so September yeah so it starts in July August September rather than it being January to December or whatever there's nothing else really in here that makes it spectacular it's just pretty much a standard standard planner it has holidays postal abbreviation and then the months there's nothing really in here that makes it student I think just besides for the way that it's set up so I got one of those and then there are a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch of really nice notebooks at Dollar Tree they have big ones small ones spiral ones composition I think that they've really upped the selection of notebooks which is really really awesome so I found this little tiny one that matches the folder with the same this is called a buck in my head I'm thinking it's called a buck but I can't remember I got this little notebook for ideas maybe the boys will want it I saw it I got I wanted it I picked it up and it has 180 sheets of paper here is another one that I really loved and it says follow your heart in this really beautiful uh like the teal i don't seafoam green color i guess you would call it. i call this seafoam green i don't really know but you guys know i really love that color and it's in that and it says follow your heart with gold i think this is great for ideas and then here is a really large one subject notebook and I thought that the pattern on here was really, really pretty. I thought I could use this, but they had a bunch of different ones. And it's pretty sturdy. I don't know how well it would hold up for the year if you're like in high school or you're going to be taking a lot of notes in college. I don't know if this is going to be the best for you. But for myself that's not in school, that does just as like basic writing, I thought this would be great. I was totally surprised by the selection of Westcott, I, call, I believe it is called. Westcott... Um, Westcott scissors so they had two different ones so this one is for ages uh, four and up so this is called a blunt tip scissors and I love these scissors they've had them at Dollar Tree before they work really really well for the kids I feel like these are so good but then they had these other ones which are called pointed scissors for ages six and up so these ones I believe are for the smaller guys these ones are for the bigger guys and I picked up both of these for Quincy and Bobby. I saw the amazing, pretty, and flawed. She hauled these little pencil cases a while back, and I finally was able to pick them up. So one says, be clever, with a little fox on there. The other one says, be brave, with a little bear. And then the other one says, be wise, with a little owl. And they basically just zipper all the way around. 
and then you can put all of your pencils and supplies. I feel like this is perfect for your car. If you have cords and bits and bobs, these things are great for keeping you organized. You don't just have to use them for pencils. And I feel like they're going to hold up and be pretty pretty sturdy, you know, if you're putting things in here. Nowadays, people are using like reusable straws and such. You could use these to put those in and put them inside of your handbag. These, will, these are going to make really good organization like pouches, even if you're not in school. So I got them and I love them. And then I got one other one that says ready for a new adventure. And it's a little bit of a different shape. It kind of opens just this way. Oh, I thought I could use this just to hold some bits and bobs. Most of these things I picked up just to share with you guys, like what caught my eye there so I can share it. But I feel like with this, this kind of stuff, you can always find a new way to use it. So hopefully I don't, I, I've been, I've been doing so bad at just hoarding Dollar Tree stuff. It's becoming overwhelming because once I get it, I don't always use everything. So it has become overwhelming, but it's important for me to share with you guys what you can find because that's the whole point of these videos to share what's new at the Dollar Tree to give you guys an idea. So I need maybe some ideas on what I should be doing with this stuff so that it just doesn't sit in bins and don't doesn't get used. Okay, so from the same Westcott brand, these are pencil sharpeners. You can sharpen crayons and pencils, and these are a necessity at my house. Come back to school time, when it's homework time, my kids can never find, well, my Bobby can never find a sharpener. So I picked up two. I'm going to keep both of them, and I really like these ones because these seem, like, nice. These seem, like, good quality. Yeah. And then it, catch, it catches all the little sharpening bits in here, and I love the color. So this is really, really cool. Have you guys seen the Lion King movie? We have not seen it yet, but the boys do want to see it. And that was my favorite Disney movie growing up. So I got uh, one pack of Lion King number two lead pencils. And this is from the brand Peach Tree Playthings. Oh, I was able to score this little um, ice cream pen. And this is just so cute. It's more of like a little novelty item. And I was hoping that each color would do something, but it doesn't do anything. What is the point of this? I can't even understand. It's like, what is the point? I have no clue. Before, they used to have erasers in here, right? I think these are super adorable. You can keep it on your desk. And then I got one other novelty one. Look at this, you guys. It's a little cacti, but it has a much bigger writing point. So these are really, really cute for your desk. Just little novelty pens that we find so often at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so here is a zebra pen. And I feel like I've seen this brand before, but I can't remember. This is uh, two zebra pens in pink and purple. It says quality and value. Smooth, skipless writing, medium point. And then here are some from, these are from Cello. These are the smooth 10 ballpoint pens and they're colored pens. So they write in all of these colors. So these are super cool for list writing, to-do lists. I love to write in all different colors. And if you have older kids for back to school, this is how I would take notes. I would do like one subject, one color and help keep me organized. So definitely pick up some fun colors if you need help learning and staying organized and focused. So right now at Dollar Tree, the Sterilite brand has been coming out. So they have this one, which is basically like an index card holder, and then they have the crates. So I picked up five of the crates and one of these. These are perfect for holding flashcards. So I got just one to put all of Quincy's letters and numbers and all the flashcards that we use. So this is a great way to stay organized with all of those type of cards. You could put Uno cards and deck of cards. It holds everything really nicely. And these are really sturdy. The crates are amazing because you can repurpose them into other ideas I've used them in the kitchen you can use them in your bedroom it's just a great way to organize things and I'm glad that they have like a little bit better quality than the typical Dollar Tree ones and they're clear and well not clear but kind of like white so I feel like the color is perfect because before they had like these bright orange I think they were green bright green ones and I wasn't really into that and spray painting plastic is a thumbs down for me I hate the way that it ends up looking it's not something that you can use for a long time so now they are are white and I think that they are perfect so moving right along there are some storage bins that I wanted to share with you guys these are just black and white and they have the little pom-poms on there so these are collapsible and you can use them in basically anywhere but I think these would be great in a playroom in your closet they're good at holding things they're not too big they're not the big ones but they look really nice they had some that were fun colors and they also now have ones that are furry on the front but I just got the black and white ones I think these are going to be really good for in the closet so I picked up three of those and then I also got some of just these plain ones for the kids room for like their back to school stuff and these are the collapsible storage bins and that's just three. 
so I guess we'll move along to the home decor stuff. I found these placemats at Dollar Tree, and it says Home Sweet Home. You guys know I always talk about the font at Dollar Tree. It just keeps getting better and better. I think this is going to be perfect for a DIY project. It's shiny, but you can take this off and use it in maybe like a circle tray or something. I just really, really, really like this, and I like the detail around it. So I picked up two of them. You can even use these on your table like using these on your dining room table would be perfectly fine too i just really love these i think that they look really good and they look much higher quality than dollar tree so these are the only fall items that i was able to score at my dollar tree so far i don't know what's going on with them this one is basically cream and gold and it says gather with grateful hearts this one is orange and it says pumpkins kisses harvest wishes and then the black one is black and gold, and it says thankful, grateful, blessed in gold glitter. And you guys know I'm not big on glitter, but we're not going to complain. I love this little bit here and the stem. I've seen a lot of things similar to this at Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby. They're all coming out with all of their fall stuff, which is a little bit early for me, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? So I feel like if you pick these up, you can DIY them, you can repaint them, you can reuse them because you can use the back of them and you can make them fit your own style if you're not really into what you see right now. So another fall item are these acorn decorations. These are great for just putting into vases, into like filler containers. So I just picked up one packet of those. And then I wasn't really impressed by the floral selection that I saw at Dollar Tree. I was hoping that it would be something different this year, but it was basically like the same old stuff that we've always seen. This is Willow, and it's basically like this burnt, I call this like a burnt yellow, almost like a mustardy yellow. This is a color that I'm super into this season. I'm going to share my Pinterest below for fall if you guys want to see the colors that I'm really trying to go for that I'm hoping to achieve for my fall decor. But it's a lot of like these rich yellows and burgundy colors. So I really, really love this. I'm excited to give this a try. And then here are, what are they called? Grass with feathers. So it also has kind of like that yellowish color in it. So I picked up three of those. So I don't really know if this is fall, but we'll just go with it. I picked up two packs of the decorative rope. I'm really excited to use this in my home decor. And I picked up a lot of like the dollar decor pieces. So I'm going to share those with you guys as well. Here are two little, I guess, I don't know what I would, what I want to call these. They are called, they don't even say, I guess just like little key holders or just like little hangy bits. This one says welcome home and it has like the little black knob. This one says blessed and thankful. And then this one was my favorite one that I told you guys about before. Our nest, our nest is best. That's a phrase that Dollar Tree is going to be using a lot. But I like the fact that it's green, a muted green with black and gold. So I picked up two of those. So in the back they have just like a little hangy bit with a little piece of twine. Here are three new little wooden pieces. This one is great for back to school to give to a teacher. It has little apple on front and says, I'm as lucky as can be the world's best teacher teaches me. Okay, this one is really cute. It, ha it says home sweet home with a little cacti on it. And then this is a little pineapple and it says you are the peanut to my clotta. And that's adorable. I love it. Super cute. Can't wait to find little homes for these guys. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this little, this little guy. So it says it's a wishing jar. On the top it says wishing jar. Add wishes or messages to this, to the wish jar. And on here it says the same thing. So I guess you open it up and you add wishes. So for back to school time, maybe for little Bobby, we're going to sit down and think of all of the things that he wants to accomplish, that he hopes for, the things. It's just so that you're putting it out to the universe, to God. Doing both of those things, like praying and putting it out there and claiming it, are always amazing. So we're teaching little Bobby and Quincy how to start manifesting and imagining the life that you want. So writing it out on paper may be really cool. So this might be a fun thing for you to do with your kids starting back to school time or on a birthday what do you hope to accomplish in this year and then you can open it up and see what they accomplished I think that'll be really really fun and I love just the whole look of it so I really like this super cool so here are two candlestick holders that I got at Dollar Tree these are making their way back they were at Dollar Tree a while ago they also have them in white these are black I thought this would be great for Halloween time especially like for the fall time the darker richer colors these are going to be really really good the only downside is the quality of these I don't know how to 
to explain the feeling but it almost feels like you could like chip away at this it kind of, I don't know if this is like ceramic or what but it hasn't been like glazed over it so it doesn't have like that hard coating I only wish that it had that but I do like these you could paint them like um, a chalk black if you wanted them to be a little bit blacker because they show wear and tear super easy so be careful with these they're not the sturdiest but they do they do work nicely so here is an eyeglass cleaner that I found at Dollar Tree. It's from Happy Eyes. It's called Anti-Fog, anti Anti-Static, Non-Abrasive. And I thought you could use this for cleaning your sunglasses as well. For glasses, plastic, and polycarbonate lenses. So this is really cool to keep on hand. I have not tried it, but I'll let you guys know. In the bathroom section at Dollar Tree, they have a whole new little section of towels, washcloths, so one of it says so fresh so clean and it's in this blue color so like a toothbrush holder and the pump I believe also have, has this saying on it and then there's one that says relax and then there's ones that have it's a microfiber washcloth it's a four pack but it says lather rinse repeat and then they had like the same washcloth that did the same thing so they're trying to come out with new stuff for that I think that's really really cool so I'm excited to use those here is a new tea towel and I absolutely love this pattern my mom who passed away my adoptive mom she loved sunflowers so this one is really nice and it says you are my sunshine and it has a little bicycle on there I absolutely love it and I kind of love that it's like um, like faded and it looks worn it gives it more of like that distressed look and I really love that and just like anything that I have so I'm excited to have this little tea towel which is so cute okay we're coming up to a few of the last things so I picked up another one of these baby blankets from Dollar Tree I see everybody and their mama is making pillows and all kinds of stuff out of these so I wanted to make sure that I picked up another one when I do want to use it I don't have a use for it I'm definitely thinking about a tree skirt so I want to make sure that I have enough and I don't like once they're gone I feel like they're not going to come back and if everybody's using them I need to make sure I have enough for myself so I picked up another one and then here are three picture frames I thought I would be able to use these to hold these little seashells that we got from the beach for our bathroom but I don't think they're going to work but I really love the color of them because they're blue and gold and I thought you could stack them up like this way on like a small wall they're four by six and they're just like little blue and gold picture frames so I like those a lot there are some new soy candles at Dollar Tree and I really love these containers these can be reused so that's why I personally picked them up I'm not really into the candles from Dollar Tree but these are soy which also I think they're supposed to be a little bit better so I really don't know this one is in seaside dreams and it's that seafoam green color that I absolutely love I really love this because you can put this on a shelf and it will look cute but it also doesn't smell bad it's literally only filled up to like right here so of course Dollar Tree tried it because they are always trying to play it like it was a dollar why not fill it up to the top no it's literally filled up halfway but you know beggars can't be choosers we're gonna take what we can get and then this other one is in ocean tide and this one smells really really fresh it almost smells like um like a laundry soap so moving on to the last couple of things, I found this two quart bottle at Dollar Tree and I picked up two of them. These are really good for juicing. If you make extra juice and you want to store it, it has like this kind of lid that you can just flip up and pour. So it helps to keep stuff fresh. I've never really seen this at Dollar Tree before. It says that it's from United Solutions, made in the USA, BPA free, and the size of it is not a size that we normally get. So if you guys make extra juice or if you need a place to store juices, this is good to pick up. And I picked up two of them I'm like you can always find something to use these for so I got them I picked up these grilling trays and I saw an Instagram girl make a really cool cork board it was not a cork board it was a pegboard type thing so I want to do something like that for back to school so I picked up two of these super excited to include those I thought the idea was really really cool if I can find it I'll link it down below so the last kind of decorish thing that I have to share is a decal and this is my first time getting this one it says stay humble work hard be kind and the font is fire, amazing, like so good. You would never guess that this is Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use this in a project, not sure how, not sure when, but it will be done and I absolutely love this. So good job, Dollar Tree. So the last section is going to be the food stuff. It's not a lot of food stuff, but I do have some things to share. I got this big thing of Trident gum. It's 50 soft sticks of gum for keeping this in the car. It's perfect because it's like in a kind of, it's not like one of those little flimsy containers. You can pop it open and kind of just have it and not need to worry. So buy one of these, stick it in your car. Your breath will never stink again, or hopefully it won't. When you eat something like a little not right in the car, 
are you can just pop a piece of gum i like to have these for the kids too because sometimes they want to have gum and you can just keep it in the car and when you need it you have it and you don't have to worry about it plus these containers you can use in other ways as well and i feel like finding this at dollar tree is a good deal because other places like walmart they're way more money way more than a dollar so i picked that up i also if you guys know me you know i love candy i'm like the candy girl and so are my kids sadly but i picked up this big thing of trolley red white and awesome sour bite crawlers this is a big bag it's a nine ounce bag for a dollar the last snack that i have to share is from bountiful harvest it's the multi-grain chips in sea salt so i thought that these would be like sun chips and a lot of the chips that i love to this day i have found at dollar tree or started getting at dollar tree and now i buy them like the late july chips i absolutely love and i get those at whole foods pop corners so i know you can find good chips at dollar tree so i'm excited to give these a try because you know i love me a chip i love me a chip and a candy and a snack and a sweet that is my that is my downfall but we'll give these a try and i'll let you guys know what i think super duper soon so you guys that was everything that i found recently at the dollar tree those are all the new finds at my dollar tree if you guys found it helpful or found it useful please give it a thumbs up if you guys made it to the end of the video and are a real one thank you for being here thank you for watching leave the word tied in the comment section down below I love to see how you guys use the words, especially the funny comments, they make my day. So leave the word Tide, T-I-D-E, in the comment section down below. Here are a few from my previous video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you made it to the end, we're practically best friends, so click that subscribe button. Share it with a friend because sharing is caring and sharing allows for my little channel not to die. So share it so YouTube will promote the video. It means the world to me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.